All right, welcome back, everybody. If you're new to the channel, you know, glad to have you. Um, now, this is my this is my steel setup and my iron setup for the rest of the base. For everybody concerned about the UPS, yeah, it is a little bit low. It has been running in the mid 50s uh, past few days. Now, I do have two computers, and I do I do have to see which one the performance is better on now that it's not at 60 FPS or 60 UPS. So yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> let me go ahead and zoom in and auto save. All right, let me yeah let me go ahead and zoom in. And this is what my still looks like. It is. <clears throat> 36, no, my bad, 18, 18 lanes of steel, and it is 24 lanes of iron. So let me go ahead and get out of my view, and there is, yeah, there's a few things I can do uh, for UPS I do have to work work on. One thing, I am going to get rid of biters, biters here soon, because... <clears throat> Um, I think they're affecting performance. I looked at, I looked at my time stuff, and turrets are actually doing a lot. And smelters are. I can't get rid of the smelters. I can get rid of a few robo ports. I don't know, um, but that's something I worry about later. I'm gonna work on optimizing later. But here's my base so far. Let me go ahead and get in here. So I've got all these stopped. So I'm about to start them up and we can watch it fire up. And my UPS probably will drop. Not too worried about UPS right now, but anyway, here we go. All right, and this is top and bottom. That, uh, that green wire goes to the top too. And with this mod, also the further I zoom out, the worse my UPS gets. As you can see, it goes down to 32. Right here, it goes back up real quick to 40s. All right, we started getting some still out. And wait, this is fully tested in the lab. Let's see. This was my original design I was going with. And I liked it, but here it is with the still out. So it is a it is full belts. Alright, we're starting to get we're starting to get still down here. <laughs> Plus another thing I am recording. I think that's why I'm in the mid well around I'm in the 40s instead of the 50s cuz when I'm playing without recording I'm in the 50s. So it's not too too slow. Let's check on the uh Okay, yeah, the iron's almost already full. And the steel... And the steel is getting there. Of course, it'll take a lot longer for the steel to get... All right, while we're waiting, here is my oil setup. That I've been working on. Now it's not perfect cause um, like right here, 
Yeah, I noticed some of these pipes, like this one was a solid pipe going to the wrong spot, and since I copied it, they're all like that. So um, in my original, original design, for some reason I had a pipe, let's see, this pipe right here was going from petroleum into heavy oil. And since I stamped this design, it's over the whole thing. So this right here is 1.4 thousand refineries. Oh, let me go back. And I've only fixed this one section right here, but it'll be a little bit easier on the rest of them, like right here. Okay, here's an example, I have it fixed. So yeah, it goes, actually that wasn't connected either, so. Yeah, there's a uh, there's a few things I gotta fix, but not not too bad. And then all the outputs are gonna come up the middle, and then then my um, uh, chemical plants are gonna be here and probably here too, since I don't need train stations for those. Well, yeah, I'm gonna pull off the bus for those. So yeah, for the uh, the iron, the copper, for the batteries, the, uh, you know, different things. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, the plastic. Plastic's a big one. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to pull out coal off the bus for plastic. So, anyway, let's get back to, uh, let's get back here and see how this is going. Uh, that's almost completely full now. And as you can see, my iron's starting to, starting to fill in. And for everybody wondering, I did. Get, we did. Um, that guy that that guy that helped design this, he's been playing a lot. Um, he's been playing to help me out. He's the one that actually uh, did a lot of the uh, the defenses around the edge, and he came up with a new design for solar panels, which is which is fine. Um, he also got rid of a a few of the uh, the patches that was up under here. Basically, he before. Before I started putting the iron in, he took out a little chunk, mined it all, and made a little train, temporary train station down here to uh, to get it. And that's where a lot of excuse me, that's where a lot of the science is coming from, is from those patches. So yeah. All right, back to where I was. So this is almost full, and this is this is almost full. So yeah. And I am going to have a pole. Um, these green green circuit belts. They're 124 across. And I'm kind of debating. They're all red, red belts. I'm kind of debating whether I want to make them blue belts and, and condense it. So... Um, not sure I haven't decided I'll probably put a pole up because I do like I do like this river of green I do and it will require a whole lot of work well I guess if we did green we could we could I mean blue belts we could bring the blue belts in a little bit and then up but all of these will have to be moved over too so yeah we'll see all right we're almost completely full. We got a little hiccup here and there in the iron. It'll uh, it'll work itself out. The iron is almost full. I mean, the steel is almost full. So my UPS right now is 39 and I am recording so that that does make a little bit of a difference and like i said i do have two pcs <laughs> uh one does have faster memory this has ddr4 the other has uh ddr5 in it so i might have to move to my laptop to to run it better like i said i will do some testing just to make sure
Alright, the iron is almost completely full. So yeah, if you will, just leave a um, leave a comment down below and, and tell me what you think. Also, um, you know, just leave a comment and tell me like uh, some things that you might can think of. Okay, yeah, while we're talking about it, let's talk about performance. So, looking at time usage. <clears throat> oh, hold on, let me get rid of Gooey. All right, right now my update's 24. Uh, entity update's 17. So, what was I going to do? Uh, time usage, entity time usage. All right, so right now, and I might be doing this, I might be looking at this completely wrong. Um, so if you, if you know of any ways or see anything like furnace three. So yes, that's, Furnace is definitely, especially right now, since all this is fired up and going, Furnace is finally doing it. I don't really want, on this playthrough, I don't really want to do beacons and modules. So, I want the big spread out base on this one, on this playthrough. So, I don't really want to get rid of, um, get rid of my smelters. Let's see. So turrets, I can get rid of a lot of them if I get rid of the bugs. Uh, furnaces, yeah. Oh, my enemies aren't really that bad. Now the pathfinding might be. Assembling machines, not bad, which is not running right now. A lot of it's not running right now. Mainly it's my furnaces and my inserters. So, yeah. I can work on... <clears throat> If I get rid of the bugs, get rid of the the uh, the turrets. That's one almost two ever, you know, all the time. Uh, my robo ports up to, I mean, up also. So there's that. Um, and my inserters and my furnaces. So, like I said, I don't want to get rid of my furnaces. There are some things with inserters I can do to. Um, to help with that so anyway there's that but yeah if you know if y'all know of any performance things that can help me out just uh just let me know and besides the small little hiccup you know every once in a while it's basically full Well, actually, it's probably it's probably full up here. Yeah, yeah, it's full right here. So I know I got a few undergrounds I got to put in. Huh? I never get stamped down. Or they were stamped. They probably got deleted or something. Anyway, I know I got a few undergrounds I got to put in. But yeah, these are um. These are good. They're full, uh, and I know they're backed up. So, but though they were running full whenever, <clears throat> excuse me, whenever they're not backed up, they'll be they'll be full blue belts. So yeah. Anyway, that will conclude this video, and I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. And like I said, just leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Um, there is a few things I do have to do to work on UPS. But right now I'm focused on building and then I'll focus on optimizations. So anyway, I hope y'all have a good day and I will see you on the next one.